What is this thing you just sent me? Oh, it's really cool. It's a picture of the most relaxing meadow you've ever seen. Idiot. I know what this is. It's supposed to lull me into a sense of calm, and then a ghoul pops up and scares me. Why would I do that? Dwight, of all people, I know that you're unscarable. Damn right I am. Oh, hello, relaxing meadow. I'm so relaxed and calm looking at you right now. Oh, no, a scary ghoul just popped up. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Really? Is this the best you could... Jim? How are you? Ah! Ah! Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That is the best I can do. No! No, 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 no! no! I do not want to talk about it. Unbelievable. That, okay. What happened, Michael? Oh, wouldn't you like to know what happened in the bathroom by myself, pervy? <sighs> Suffice to say, I had finished my business, I was just checking to make sure everything was fine, and my cell phone fell out and on, not in, but like on the rim, and then... It fell in. It's not, just let me tell the story, okay? Jim, I knocked it with my knee and then it fell in. And then I leaned over and looked and my Bluetooth fell out of my ear and that fell in. Bluetooth. And then I got flustered and everything started falling in. My wallet fell in, my tip calculator, my candy corn, my white strips, all fell in to the toilet. And your keys fell in? I threw the keys in out of anger. Right. This cannot happen again. That's what you said last time. I know I did. <laughs> Phyllis, this is not funny. This is not funny. Well, technically it is toilet humor, which you claim to enjoy. It is not toilet humor, it is toilet tragedy. Hey. Hey. You know what? This is the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't doubt it. Ladies and gentlemen, a while ago you witnessed a tragedy that befell me in the bathroom. But as the adage goes, out of great tragedy is the mother of invention. So without further ado, I would like to present to you something that I believe will change the way that we all do business, so to speak. Behold, the mesh toilet guard, handy, Portable, self-cleaning. This little baby goes where you go. Who wants to give it a test spin? Phyllis? Stanley? Kev? Who wanna? Who wants to take it on its maiden voyage? Anyone? Come on. Here's an idea. Add a handle of that puppy and you got yourself a tennis racket. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Michael, don't be bashful. Do a magic trick. Yeah. No. Yeah, come, come on. on. Come on. I'm Michael. totally not prepared oh, to do a magic trick. Okay, well, all right. I have a little something I could do. Excuse me. Now, does anybody have a handkerchief? Does it need to be clean? Oh, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know what Kelly is doing. She's trying to butter Michael up. But I'm also excited to see the magic. It's good. Oh, where'd it go? Oh it's my gone. god. Where did it Michael, go? you are so much fun. When people start sucking up to you, it is very easy to get an inflated ego. You start to believe all the hype people are saying about you. And I am not yet at that point, but I'm going to get there. Yeah, we have that going on Tuesday. Okay. Sure, no, I can, I'll double check that for you. I would like to tell you a little story. Let me call you right back. Okay. About a boy named, it, that doesn't even matter. Could be any one of you. And like any other 12 year old boy, he wanted a Pippi Longstocking doll for Christmas, but his evil stepfather, Jeff, said, no, you may not have what you want. You must have a football. 
And the boy cried and he cried and he cried and he held his breath as long as he could and he wouldn't eat his dinner. But you know something? It turns out that Jeff was right because I already had a G.I. Joe and a Stretch Armstrong and a Malibu Barbie and a Major Matt Mason, which technically is enough for a tea party. So my point is this, I didn't need what I thought I needed. What I needed was to learn how to appreciate what I had. Which in this case was enough dolls to have tea with. Exactly. Got it. Dunder Mifflin, this is Ryan. Oh, hi, David. Long time no talk. Through the temp agency, actually. Yeah. I get that. I, I know that. David, David, you don't have to yell. David, can, can I just... Let, let me just tell... Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Please hold. He just made the list. Hey, Toby, I have a real quick question for you. Sure. What should your resume be, and what should you do with your life? Okay. Two questions, I guess. Fine. No, no, no. I'm sticking to what I said. One question with two parts. Okay, well, look, the second part, you know, that's really personal. I mean, only you can answer that. So you're trying to get out of it. God, thanks for your help, moron. Okay, well, look, the, the resumes. I can really help you there. I must read 20 a day. Okay, good. Write this down. <clears throat> Born in a medium-sized town, Michael Gary Scott always knew he was different. Okay, well, so we might start with, so your most recent thing, summary of achievements. What have you done here at Dunder Mifflin? Changed things. Ushered in a new era of love and comedy in the workplace. Hired many, fired few. Made money, lost money, learned to stop counting. This is our moment. This is our time. This next part should be sung, if possible. What is this? What happened here? I don't know. This does not look good. Did anyone see what happened around my desk area this morning? Dwight, I really think someone's probably just playing a prank on you, so just go right through it. A prank, huh? This is official police line tape, okay? It's not a prank. Probably is. Mmm, nothing much is happening today. We are having photo IDs taken, whoop-de-doo. Can't always be like The Apprentice. I know. I'm Big Brother. Something important happens every day, but real life is not like that. Damn it, people! Someone must have seen something! Oh, you people are useless. Jesus. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hold, please. Dwight, it's the sheriff. He said that it's really important it's regarding your desk. I'll transfer. Oh, no, no, don't! Can I... I can't hit... Mmm... <sighs> Just cut through it, man. It's no big deal. This is why I am a volunteer sheriff's deputy, and you are not. That is not why. Wow, man. He really wants to get in touch with you. Maybe it's a murder. No, there's no blood. Maybe poison? Possibly. My God! Uh... No, Jim, no! God. Sheriff, this is volunteer sheriff's deputy Dwight Schrute. Press the pound key. What's your 20? 